vote on this. I don't know what to call myself right now. So Katsucon was about two weekends ago, and it's time for me to finally review this convention. Oh, Friday. Hmm. Thursday night got to the con. Did not do much. Uh, played Cards Against Humanity for about an hour or so in the lobby, thanks to a random person whose name I forgot, who played with us by us being all of my friends and that one random person. Bless your damn heart, you learned too much about us. Hmm. Friday, I was like, all right, time to get a badge. You know how long I waited to get that badge? It was a long time. It took me four hours. Hmm. Yeah. Luckily, by the time I got my badge around like 5 or 4 p.m., they gave a severe discount so I wasn't wasting my money on a Friday that I wasn't actually attending a convention because I really didn't do anything the rest of that Friday. It was kind of upsetting. Whatever. But while waiting in line for four hours, I ran into somebody who might be watching this video right now. Thanks to Katsuragi Kancho for like inspiring me to do videos again. So like I'm doing this Katsukon one like for you, even though I don't have footage for it. Like I tweeted out saying that I'm in the line. And I was like, from a die. Got a tweet back saying, oh my god, I think I'm close to my Norans. I'm like, I don't recognize this name as one of my Twitter friends. I was like, what? But she was literally like the wrapping row in front of me. And I have a fan, guys, I have a fan. I'm sure there's other fans besides whoever's watching this right now, but I had a moment. I met a fan. Thank you for loving me. Don't let me scare you away. Since I missed the Love Live gathering on Friday, I went to the one on Saturday, and this is where like the big part of my story comes from. <laughs> where at the gathering, I met two other Snow Halation cosplayers in particular, which I was really surprised that there wasn't a lot of Snow Halation in general because it was cold out. I don't know. So the two girls that I met invited me to meet up with them and one of their other girls from their group to do a love life shoot and oh my god it was amazing so i have to say thank you to studio 634 photography for being such a cool photographer and i'm sorry we ruined your career with some pictures hmm. at the snow halation private shoot we were all insane and if you've seen the snow halation costume it ain't that warm and it was probably less than 30 degrees out because it did start sleeting later that night but it proved for some amazing shots just ugh, ugh. and what you don't see in that picture is three other love lives huddled around a umbrella light for warmth and thanks to the slow foundationers of Chira, Jasquee, and Night Kinks y'all were amazing I had so much fun with you guys it was great at the Love Life Gathering, it was so much fun. My boyfriend got some choice pictures of me and other ones. One of the best pictures to come out of the gathering and not the private photo shoot itself was a random shot by Donutography. I like that name even though I'm not good at saying it. And it's so cute! It's just so cute. It's just like it's so cute. <laughs> This is when Night Kinks and I became friends. And thanks, Steve Harvey, baby Jesus, for bloomers, so. Okay. If you happen to run into me on Valentine's Day, which was the Saturday of the convention, and you did something that pleased me, I gave you chocolate! I made them with my hands. It took a long time. <laughs> if you got a chocolate for me, please comment or something, because I didn't get to see anybody eat them. So I want to know if you liked my just molded chocolate. So. Yeah, I want that to be a thing that everybody liked. The one big complaint that I had and that I also think that others had from seeing on Tumblr is the rudeness of the, not all of the staff, of some of the staff. For those of you who don't know, I worked at Disney World and Universal Studios Orlando and I just had an experience with those things where I notice professional rudeness more often. I don't know. So, as me who thinks of myself as a nice person, uh, there's just ways that I think things could have been done better. Like, 
for specific examples, when we went to go get the 18 plus wristband and we were very confused when we got sent to a security desk as opposed to the registration desk because it was after hours or whatever, it was very confusing. First off, that was confusing. Um, but when we got there, we started to form a line. Eventually the line started blocking the main flow of traffic and any cast members safety begins with me and they told us to wrap around the line but it wasn't like we just got screamed at <laughs> would you like a cast member example of how to do this just excuse me folks if you do me a big favor and just wrap this line around the side of the hallway so we're not blocking traffic i'd appreciate it boosh that's it i don't even care if it sounds practice it sounds fucking nice just and this isn't even as like a staff member thing. This is as like a person thing. It's just like, if you're nice, I'm gonna do it for you. I'm gonna be happy about it. I don't, uh, uh, uh. Anyway, okay. So that was my one major complaint. And my other complaint was how long the line was. And I'm pretty sure everybody else was mad about that complaint. As far as I am aware, the system crashed once. It was up and running in like 15, 20 minutes, which is actually really impressive. But it took a really long time. So just as a tip for those of you coming in the future, pre-register because A, they cut off pre-registration about a week before a convention, which doesn't usually happen. Sassy head bob. And B, it takes a long time if you're in the regular registration line. Pre-reg line still looked like it was taking a bit of a while, but I'm not entirely sure because I wasn't in it. I don't know. I think also Thursday's pre-reg line was long from what I heard. I was not part of it. I was not in it. All of my friends were panelists, so they were in and out really quick, so that's actually really nice for them. Uh, overall rating of KatsuCon gets a 7 out of 10. I really like this con. A lot of my friends go to this convention, and I was seeing a lot of people that I haven't seen in a while. Next convention is ZenkaiCon in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I'm doing a panel at it. There will be footage from the convention. It's going to be great. But the panel I'm doing is with May Payne, the cosplayer, my bestie, my girl. But our panel is that awkward anime crush when dot dot dot. And should be happening on Saturday of the convention. So if you're in the area, come on down. It's a small convention. It's a good convention. It was my first convention when it was also their first convention when I was like 14 or 15 years old. So I've been doing this a while. Good guy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I promise that my next convention will be less vocal and more video. All the cosplayers and photographers I mentioned will be linked down in the description below. And maybe subscribe so you can see what I'm doing next. So, thanks.